Hey everyone, Bit here. We're back in my room with the tripod. Uh, MacBook back in front of the camera with the MacBook. This time I'm not on my bed, I'm actually in a chair. So you may see behind me on that's my old Galaxy Tab S7 that. I am installing Fortnite on the Tab S7. So today, August 16th, 2024, came out uh, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 titled, I believe it's titled Absolute Doom. And I've turned on the Xbox. It's hidden behind the tab, but Xbox Series S. I boot up Fortnite. And in the quests, I see stuff about the mobile version of Fortnite. And also on my laptop over here, I see on my Windows laptop over here, the Omen, I see stuff about Epic Games uh, coming to mobile. Now, Epic has already had presence on mobile for years. They've been on Android, but now they're finally coming to the to iOS in the European Union. So if you don't know, I forgot when it happened. When was the Apple v. Epic court case? In 2020, Apple v. Epic happened. The Apple v. Epic court case. So this was... I think it was Epic Games who started the lawsuit. And, and Epic started this lawsuit in reaction to iOS in reaction to Apple banning Fortnite from iOS after allowing Fortnite players to skirt around um, Epic Games's allow, allow Epic Games or allowing users to skirt around the App Store. You could pay Epic directly for V-Bucks instead of being forced to pay through the App Store. And Apple's rules say that you have to, if you're doing in-app transactions on the app, with the App Store, with, within, within your app, you have to do those transactions through the App Store because, and the reason they put that in there is because Apple wants to get the 30% cut from all sales that happen on the iPhone. which is stupid, and it shows Apple has corporate greed, but... And the other thing is that the same thing happened to Google. You'd see it's done. It's asking me to log into my Epic account. Well, I'll just leave the tab, tab of 7 on that screen. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. You can tell these videos are... Uns you can tell all of my channel is unscripted. Epic Games also got Fortnite because of the same in-app transaction uh, direct, because of the same direct in-app transactions thing. Epic also got banned from the Play Store. But the thing is on Android, Android sideload, Android has been able to sideload pretty much since it came out. You could just install APK files directly. Now, devices have gotten more paranoid, stingy about accepting uh, APK files just to protect people who don't know what they're doing from installing malware on their device. But the thing is, Android trusts users. Apple 
doesn't seem to trust its users. But then, like this year or last year, I when did the DMA come into effect? When did the Euro, European Union DMA Digital Markets Act come into effect? Okay, so the DMA came into effect fully on in last year. But so in 2022 and then it was enforced, started, I guess they started enforcing it in 2023. Um, the Digital Markets Act, one of the things that the Digital Markets Act was meant to do was get uh, Apple to enable installing apps from outside the App Store, I think was, a as I quit as I quit Google Chrome was the EU DMA target it said at Apple okay so I don't know if the DMA's initial start was targeted at Apple but it was definitely seemed like it was kind of targeted at Apple because of how close they are and the thing is, they've allowed apps from outside the App Store on Mac OS, even because even when the App Store became a thing on Mac OS, they didn't require developers to start submitting their, all of their apps to the App Store. Now, Mac OS still does complain about a lot of open source projects because they don't go through the signing and notarization process by Apple. So you might get a strange message when you do that, but all you have to do is go to the finder, to the applications folder, right click on the app and click open to override it. The only time that uh, you cannot override Mac OS's app security is like if you download an app that was modified, that, that, was, mo that was modified and therefore it messes up the digital signatures and so Mac OS will refuse to run it at all because it definitely because it definitely believes the app has a security risk. But you can, even though it will block unsigned apps, you can still force Mac OS to run unsigned apps. So an Apple has had a file format for Mac OS apps, not Mac OS apps, iOS apps for years. The file form is IPA, not not the beer. So IPA, I, I what the, I don't know what that stands for. What? So apparently, it stands for iOS App Store Package. So they've had a file format for years that is an app that is a packaged iOS app, IPA. It's just that unlike Android, where you can install its package file, an APK, directly onto the device, you cannot install an IPA file directly onto an iPhone, at least without Alt Store. And honestly, I wonder if people are going to start if people in the EU are going to start divulging the files for, uh, are going to start divulging if they have like a jailbroken new iPhone, if they're going to start like extracting IPA files from the Epic market or any other uh, alternate app market from the EU. If people in the EU have jailbroken iPhones, they might start extracting that stuff and uploading IPAs to the Internet Archive. 
kind of like what happened for the discontinued Domino's Niku pizza app uh, in a video by I forgot his name. Nick Robinson. That's the YouTuber who made the video about um, the Domino's Miku pizza app. Because for some reason Domino's Japan made that promotion, but uh, that's getting off topic. But still, it's the same thing. Um, and the app in question was uploaded to archive.org. Luckily, like the only attack that has ever occurred towards archive.org is... Um, Towards this book collection. Uh, enter, enter. I can't type. Internet Archive lawsuit. Hachette v. Internet Archive. That was the. That was a lawsuit from a book publisher. That was a lawsuit from a book publisher against archive.org, but there's never been any lawsuits against archive.org in terms of their software collection. Let's see. Domino's certain software. So yeah, it's published on archive.org. So I wonder if people with Joe Rogan iPhones in the EU are going to start uploading these games to... Um, are going to start uploading like Epic Games' content or such to the archive.org. I'm not saying that's going to happen. It's just theorizing. And... We don't know what's running through Epic CEO. Hope I'm not disturbing this microphone too much. I don't know what runs through Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney's mind, but he probably hasn't been happy with Apple for years. I'm just saying. It's just that I wonder if it'd just be a bad look for a company like Epic Games because, like, because honestly, I think they should just do away with Apple's rules and do and publish and publish Fortnite through the alt store, whether it be you download an IPA file and install it, or they publish their a reposit, or they publish an alt store repository. Because alt store is a completely no jailbreak method of sideloading on iOS. It takes advantage of a uh, developer signing, which sadly only means that you can, which sadly means you can only have so many uh, sideloaded apps from alt store running at the same time on your iPhone. And also, for free users, you have to go back to your computer every week and um, refresh the signing key for... and refresh Alt Store's signing key. And luckily, you can just do that by going up here and saying, uh, like, just clicking Install Alt Store again. 
or just tapping the button, but you have to be near the computer that runs alt server for that to work. Because the only thing that alt store will ask for your Apple ID, but the only thing that alt store uses your Apple ID for is to produce the signing keys that are needed for the apps to run on your phone or iPad. I think Alt Store works on the iPad as well. So yeah, um, and also it would have been nice if they allowed you to perform these mobile quests by using cloud gaming with a mobile device, but that's effectively running the PC or the Xbox version of Fortnite. They want you to be running the actual native mobile version it's just sad that unless you have an Android, you cannot do that in the U.S. or like literally anywhere outside the outside of Europe. I don't know if you can even do it in the U.K. since you since Brexit, you can't. I don't. I don't know if you can even do the alternate app marketplaces thing in the EU. I mean, I mean the UK. Because like, where is my, oh, my iPhone's on, my iPhone is being used as the camera. Uh, well, I have the iPad. I'm going to do it with the iPad. So, oh crap, the iPad's battery is low. In the way the iPad will last long. Let me just tell you this. So, on the iPad, you go, so the website you go to is epic.download. The website you go to is epic.download. And I, And then on the iPad, you have to say request mobile. Request mobile. If for some reason it believes that my iPad is a Mac, it refuses to <laughs> it refuses to show me. But I tried it on my iPhone. I went to Epic Download and tapped the download button and even said, Hey, you're not in the European Union. Epic said that. And then I tapped continue anyway, and then error. iPhone showed an error, and you press learn more, it takes you to the article telling you that that the alternative app marketplace feature only works in the EU because Apple is stupid. <sighs> okay, so this is the first thing that my Galaxy Tab keeps dimming itself. Anyway, this is the first time I've gone on a long rant in a video. Like the past couple of videos I've done on this channel um, where I've done a piece to camera have been has been the Web3 series. The, the Web3 ramble, I was at my desk with headphones on and that video was bad because I had no direction. I was just trying to say something about Web3. But then my other two videos, the NFT bubble fears and physical on-chain payments were better. And I was doing it in 
see, what was... I think the NFT Bubble Fears one was still done with me sitting in front of the camera. Also, I'm... Also, I have a new video platform for people to join. It's called... It's called Odyssey, and I finally finished migrating some of my videos to it. Because when I made the physical on-chain video... So the physical on-chain video was... done in this format, but I was sitting on the bed, not in my office chair. But I believe the NFT bubble fears one was done. Yeah, it was me with the headset on sitting in front of my computer. Um, So yeah, this is the, um, so I've never, but those two weren't rants. They were just me trying to like theorize and explain parts of the cryptocurrency, Web3, Ethereum stuff. This is the first time I've went on a rant on this channel. At some point, I kind of want to rant about Call of Duty. That's another that's another, like, corporate thing that I am very riled up about. But I just thought I had to make, to make a video about Apple side-loading the, Ep the Epic Games, the Fortnite mobile, just because of the new Fortnite season requiring native mobile play to, do, to, earn, some, to earn an outfit. So, yeah. And my Xbox controller went to sleep. I paired, I paired my, I paired my Elite controller with the Dab S7 so I could play Fortnite Mobile. Anyway, this has been Bit, and I'll see you next time.